Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this soft body physics simulation is done using Blender and it's very easy to create. You can use it for any kind of product you want. All this inside of Blender. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in Blender and I'm using the 3.6 version but it's completely up to you, you can use any version you want. Let me just quickly select everything by pressing A, the next to delete. Now we are going to use a 3D shoe models, which I downloaded from Sketchfab, which is this one. And if you want to use it, then you can download it from here. Just make sure to provide attributes to the artist. And once you're done with this, you can just simply click on download 3D model. And I'm using this GLB file format, which is relatively easy to work. So after downloading it, you can import it in Blender just by simply going to file, then go to import and from here, select the GLB. Then simply navigate to wherever you have downloaded the model and just click on import and it will take some time here you can see we have our shoe model now let me just quickly press s let's scale this up let me turn my screen cast so that you can see all the keyboard shortcuts that i'm pressing so in order to create the soft body physics simulation we need an object with which our particles or the balls will collide so for that we can use this shoe but the problem with this is that this is a very dense model so if i select this press tab you can see that there are thousands of polygons and it will be very slow to do the simulation on this one so we can create a very rough outline of this shoe and use it as a collision object and this is something that you can do with high res models because we don't need too much details in the collision object so let me just quickly go to the side view by pressing one now we can press shift a let's add a cube like this now we can enable the x-ray mode like that now you can select the cube press tab now you can select these endpoints like this and you can press g and let's move it along the x-axis like that now we can scale it down so we are basically modeling the shoe but creating a very low res or low poly version of it so let's place it over here now i'm going to select these points and press g and let's place them over here press s to scale this down something like that now we can select these points individually and press g and we can probably move them somewhere close to the surface like that so here you can see we are creating some basic shape of our shoe let's go back to the side view now you can select these points and you can press e to extrude them now you can go somewhere around here press s to scale this up like that again press e let's go somewhere around here press s to scale this up now we can select these points, press G to make it come closer like that. Again, select all the points, press E to extrude, then S to scale this up like that. Now we can select this, press G and let's place it over here. Once again, now you can select this. Now let's select all of these, press E once again. Let's go over here, press S to scale this up again. Just keep on doing this till you have a very basic shape of the shoe. So here you can see we have the basic shape of our shoe. Now we have to fix this from the top view. So I'm going to press numpad 7. So let's go to the top view and you can just simply select these points and just simply move them to the side of the shoe. Like that. So let's select these, press G. And let's select these, press G. Just make them closer to the mesh as close as you can get like that so let's do the same thing from the other side as well there you go now we have created this very basic shape and the last thing is to probably select these points and let's try to make them come really close so let's select this one and this one press s to sort of like give it a shoe shape gz we can probably make it down like that now Let's do it from the front side like that. So here you can see we have covered our shoe and we have created this mesh and now we can go back to the solid view. Perfect. We can press tab. Now we have our shape. Now this will act as a collision object. So we can select the shoe for now and quickly disable this so that it's not visible. Now we can select this and we can use it as a collision object. So let's create our objects which will collide with this. So for that, you can use any kind of shape. I'm using the sphere. Let's add this one, press S to scale this down. Press Ctrl A, let's apply all transformation. Press G, Z, let's place it over here. Now let's add some geometry to this by simply going under modifier. Let's add subdivision surface, set this to two. 
Uh, we can select this and in order to make it into a soft body let's go to the physics tab and let's enable the soft body now if you play you can see that we have this box let's go to the very beginning now if i play you can see that this will act as a soft body but it will stay at its position and reason for that is we have to play around with a couple of these settings so first is let's uncheck the gold and also let's select this and i'm going to make this into a collision object let's select this pack and now if i play back you can see that it is acting as a soft body but you can see that it crumbles upon as soon as it touches the surface because we don't have any kind of stiffness so check the stiffness option now if i play back you can see that now it's acting more of a rigid body but again we have to play around with a couple of these settings so bending i'm going to set this to something like five now if i play back you can see that now our ball is acting more like a soft body perfect but you will notice that it is falling down because we have gravity in our scene and luckily we can turn it off in blender maybe not in real life so i'm going to set this to zero and now if i play back you can see that it will stay there so we need to have a force field that will attract these soft bodies so let's press shift a let's add a force field let's add a simple force now under the strength i'm going to set this to negative one you can probably select this press s to scale this down if you want now if i go back now if i press play you can see that we have the soft body and you can see that it will move and it will keep on colliding with this object perfect now we can go back to the very beginning now there's one more thing we want the balls to collide with this object as well but also with the other balls as well so now to do that we can add a collision object to this as well now make sure that this collision is before the soft body and now we can select this ball press shift d and we can create a duplicate copy and just start placing them here and there you can press numpad 7 to randomly place these balls you can also press s to make them little bit larger press shift d let's place one over here press shift d let's place one over here press s add a little bit of variation to these shift d let's place one press s perfect now we have added the balls now if i press play you can see that our system will be very slow because there are a lot of physics sims happening right now and you can see that all of these balls will collide with our shoe perfect now we have to bake this before we start doing anything so let's go back to the very beginning now baking is very easy all you have to do is just go inside the scene properties and over here we have the rigid body world now let's open this up click on add rigid body world now over here all you have to do is just go inside the cache and from here i'm going to set the start and the end frame so i'm going to bake only the first 100 frames but it's completely up to you you can break what bake till whatever length you want so let's set this to 100 now just click on bake and after blender will take some time to bake all of these physics simulation and i'll come back once it is done so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description so let's continue so now the baking is done and if i press play you can see all the physics simulation have been baked and now you can move more freely around the scene without much lag and we are pretty much done with this now we can get rid of this base mesh which is this cube now i'm going to turn it off and instead we can turn our main shoe model on here you can see now we have everything now you will notice something that some of these balls won't even touch the surface and they will be deflected like from far away now you can fix that by simply making the mesh as close as possible to the main mesh but for this example i think this looks good so we are pretty much done with this now let's see how to set up our scene and everything so let's turn the rendering mode and i'm going to use the cycles render so let's switch this from ev to cycles and let's change this to gpu compute perfect so here we have everything now in order to light the scene up i'm going to use an hdri but it's completely up to you you can use whatever you want so let me just quickly open this up let's go to the shader editor and let's change this to world tab so we have the background and the output now i'm going to select this press ctrl t now if you have node wrangler installed then you can use this shortcut or if you don't have then you can press shift a and then manually search for texture coordinate node then plug the generator to the mapping and the uh, mapping to the environment texture now click on open now you can select an hdri now i downloaded these from polyhaven.com so it's completely free i'll put a link in the description from where you can download it so select whatever you want just click on open now you can see that we have a really nice color in our scene perfect so if you want to play around with more lighting then you can play around with the rotation of the room 
so over here we have the z rotation so if i rotate it you can see that it will change the lighting on our scene so i think this looks much better we have more highlight over here perfect so once you're done with this we can add a backdrop so for that press shift a let's add a plane let's press r x 90 and let's press r z and let's just rotate it press r to scale this up or s to scale this up now we can press g now press g and let's move this farther away something like that now we can add a camera so press shift a let's add a camera and we have the camera over here now i'm going to press numpad zero to get inside the camera let's press n let's go to view and mm, camera to view let's check this out now you can probably zoom in and you will see that the camera will move according to your viewport so let's pick a really nice angle so somewhere around let's go to the top so i'm going to select this and let's go to the top now we can switch to or we can probably let's open up our timeline and let's add a keyframe in the beginning so we have the camera selected let's go to the item now we can select the camera right click or you can press i and let's add location and rotation keyframe now let's go to somewhere around 90 and now you can select the shoe and you can probably move around a little bit however you want but it's completely up to you again select the camera press i location and rotation keyframe so now if i play back let me just quickly switch to the rendered view here you can see we have added this very nice subtle camera movement again you can move these keyframes closer to make this faster or slower however you want so if i move it over here now you can see that the motion will be very fast like that but let's keep it at one keep it at 90 perfect now we can play around with the backdrop a little bit more so i'm going to select this press s let's probably scale this up quite a bit so here you can see we have the backdrop and it is visible throughout the motion now our next step is to add some materials to this so it's actually quite easy so let's just pick a point now you can select one of these balls and let's change this to object mode just click on new and from here we are going to add a very basic material so let's change the color so you can pick whatever color you want let's pick this one and i'm going to make it a little bit metallic let's decrease the roughness so that it's a little bit shiny something like that now you can select second ball and let's click on new and this one we can make it darker so base color i'm going to set this to a little bit gray again play around with the roughness to make it like a little bit metallic you can add metallic as well let's make it shiny by decreasing the roughness more perfect now we have this and you can play around with its color as well but i think white looks good for this now you can select other balls and you can just simply apply whatever material you want let's apply this one and let's select this and we can make this black this one we can make it purple as well perfect so now we have added materials to all of these balls something like that now our last step is to render this out so in order to render it you have to go inside the rendering tab and from here you can select the number of frames so i'm going to render out only the 90 frames just select wherever you want to save this you can save it as a rgb file 16 bit compression we can set this to zero file format will be png sequence but if you want to have a video file then you can use ffmpeg and after that you can go under the encoding and from here you can set this to quicktime or mpeg4 whatever you want but if you want you can render out as an image sequence as well which i prefer so once you're done with this just go to render and click on render animation after that blender will go to each frame and will render out a image sequence of this animation which you can combine in any software like after effects or blender itself so this is how you can create these kind of product animation now the main thing is that you can use this animation for any kind of product just make sure to use a product and create a very basic mesh if it's a very high poly mesh then add some physics simulation to it after that disable the base mesh and just add the original object so this is how you can create these kind of animations and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also the project files of this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one